So this is uh, the open builds zero setter, I think is what they call it. It helps the machine find the corner of your workpiece. Um, it's set zero. Uh, it's super handy because otherwise you would have to manually line the machine up or use like a dial indicator or some other, other fashion if you want to be really precise to find the corner and that would take a while. So what this does is a little conductive plate and then you attach an end of the lead, uh, the other end of this to your bit and basically and when the machine detects that there's a connection between the router bit and this uh, plate here it says okay i found it and basically the, the machine will go around it knows the dimensions of this and it will find all the corners so it'll set x y and z um, just by setting this on there and telling the machine to go what it's provided with though is this little magnetic clamp and this or magnetic attachment i guess is supposed to attach to your router bit and the problem is is it's not with this high helix on here, there's no surface area for this magnet to grab onto. You can try to clamp it onto this here, and it actually sticks pretty well. But I've had um, I've had some issues where it doesn't conduct well through the collet down into the bit. And the problem with that is obviously if it doesn't conduct, even when it touches, it's not going to set zero. In fact, it's going to crash the machine. So instead, I've changed to this. It's a simple alligator clip, basically. I put really high flexibility silicone wire on here much more flexible than this is this is pretty stiff it's kind of hard to tell but this is this is much more flexible and then this attaches much much more securely it actually like kind of really mechanically clamps on and that's not that's not coming off it's not going to fall off and you can grab a hold of the bit real nice and securely and so when i'm holding this here i don't have to be afraid of the machine crashing and and that can actually have it find zero so that's what we're going to do now we're going to find the corner of this part all right so now i need to Bring it close. So you don't have to be perfect, you just have to have the mach the the bit kind of lined up within that hole. You can clamp it on like so, and then we're going to tell it to set zero. Oh, probe. So it says probe complete, and the machine is now zeroed on the corner of our workpiece. Let me go ahead and remove the probe. Got my boot. The dust boot's not on there. Oh well.
is the most accurate way of doing that. Technically, the bit should be... months since I filmed the beginning of this video where I used the open builds XYZ touch Pro plus uh, to to make a fixture that I used to um, route the corners for the bed mod and I'm working on that video that'll be the next video out um, in this lead 1515 series but I figured I'd take a few minutes to talk about um, what I think of the the open builds uh, XYZ touch Pro um, now that I've been using it for a few projects Generally, I'm very happy with it. I think it works pretty slick. Um, the modification of changing out the, the magnet that grounds through the end mill to a uh, little alligator clamp with the really flexible silicone wire has been great. Haven't had any problems with that. Uh, the, the only real limitation that uh, I've found with this, um, and maybe it's obvious to others, but basically the way it's built it's got these machined um, surfaces here that push up against the corner of your part and at least while running the open builds interface controller the little touchpad that that works with the black box sold by by open builds um, it, it only zeroes your end mill at the bottom left corner of your part and I think you can work around that um, if you know of that limitation but if you have plans of like switching your setup or zeroing on one of the other corners of your part that's it's not easy to do. In fact, I think I mean there may be a way of writing a macro. I read about on the forums. Um, I have not looked into that specifically. But if you want to use, you only have the interface available to you, and you're using this touch probe, you can only grab that lower left corner. Um, what I did confirm though is if you use Open Builds Control, the software that runs on your PC, you're able to choose a different corner or even the center of your part. So if for some reason you've got some sort of work setup where you do need to pick one of those other corners bring your laptop up, bypass the interface, plug into the to the black box directly with a USB cable, and you can do your zeroing at least and pick one of the other corners while using this. So um, if you if you really like using this and you want to grab those other corners, that's that's how you do that. Uh, one of the other nice things I, I made that I don't I don't think I've showed you guys is this little holster or mount that's 3D printed that mounts to my control panel that holds the interface or the uh, the touch probe works pretty slick, has a little relief for the wires, holds it right there where you can grab a hold of it real nice. I'm going to go ahead and have this file available for download, the STL link down below. Go ahead and print one out yourself, works great. Doesn't necessarily have to be mounted inset into a control pad like this or a control panel. Um, you could mount it directly to your, your mobile base or your rotate workbench, whatever it's attached to, or you could even use the um, flathead screws to go ahead and mount it directly into the open builds V-slot rails themselves so if you know you got somewhere else it's kind of hard how I've got my mounted them out there but yeah you could even mount it there um, hope you like this video uh, the next videos coming out are going to be about the bed modifications it's it's a longer video I've been trying to pull together everything for that um, also have a video then a shorter video probably about how this control panel went together along with all the links and stuff for that 
If you're just now watching, this is my first video on the Lead 1515 you've watched, be sure to go back and check the older videos, the one about the mobile base and the dust collection system and, and um, switches for controlling the dust collection and the router. And uh, please consider subscribing. Thanks again.